All right. As affiliate marketers, the way that we're going to approach registering our domain name is a little bit different than the way somebody would do it traditionally in you know an online business, an online environment, a regular webmaster or something like that. Because there are some things we really have to take into consideration that take a priority over you know some of the the things that like search engine optimization and all of that kind of stuff. What we let's look at first what we don't care about. For example, the dot com suffix, old domains, SEO. Remember, okay, like there are a lot of people that will tell you if they're into search engine optimization, they'll tell you you want to get you know an old domain. You want to make sure that it's a .com. You want to make sure that it's keyword rich and all this kind of stuff. For our purposes, that stuff does not really matter because the way that we're going to be sending traffic right now is just with Google AdWords. We're going to pay for our traffic. So those things don't matter because they're not going to come into play. Now, does that mean search engine optimization is not important? Absolutely not. And you can go ahead and, you know, take it into consideration. You definitely want to have keywords on your landing page. You want to have keywords on your website because Google does care about it. And when they calculate our, you know, our quality score, they're going to take that into account if we've got keywords. But as far as the domain name, it's not really that big of a deal. In fact, smaller URLs are better. The reason for that is instead of, you know, it's good if you can have the keyword in the domain name itself, but one thing that we can do is if we've got room, we can add keywords in the display URL. But if we've got some real long honking domain name that does not allow us any flexibility, then there's nothing that we can change in that display URL. What we want to focus on instead is the entire story. The whole picture, which is your ad, your headline, your ad, the landing page, your whole website, the product that they're going to be buying, your whole story on the landing page. Think of all of this all together as one element, and you want to create every single piece with that in mind, the whole story. When people read that domain name, it needs to touch something emotionally in them. Because, again, this is not really something that, you know, it's not like traditional branding. It does not have to be something necessarily even easy to remember. It's not like they're going to be telling a friend about it, per se. Okay? It needs to just be something that when they read that ad, the display URL that they're going to see, which, you know, the the main domain part of that URL, the display URL, has to match up with the destination URL. There are some other things that we can kind of fudge in there, and I'll, I'll explain what those are. But that domain name has to touch something in them. And again, it needs to fit into your story entirely. This particular phase, this action step that we're going to go through, is very easy. Here's what I want you to do. You're going to go to deleteddomains.com. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a, a list of a few places to go here right now, but I'll explain what they are. Deleteddomains.com is just domains that have expired, that are available, things that have been deleted recently because people let them lapse and they did not renew them you know, within their time frame. So you can grab a domain pretty easy there. Sado. This is sites that are still registered, they're still active, but they are for sale. That's good if you do want to get aged domains. What I recommend is that you have uh, set up an SEO site, a site that is optimized for search engines, and have that separate from the campaign that we're going to launch right now. The campaign that we're going to launch right now the way that we do it is a little bit different. And what I mean is the things that we care about here are different than what we would care about with, you know, if we were doing SEO. But if it is real important to you to get a domain, you know, that is aged, then definitely check out 
uh, Sado. Name Boy, this is where you can go to find, you can like punch in a keyword and it'll find domains that are available for you that have, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull that up. Here we are at nameboy.com. Your primary word, our primary phrase was make money. And let's do go name boy go. And here's what we get. Um, you know, it tells you if it's available just like we typed it. And of course it's not, but we've got make dash money dot biz dot TV. Make monies, make me, make money. We could put make me money, maybe. Um, you can just see we get, you know, different variations and what is available, what type of suffix for those, and you can go ahead and register them there even. Uh, let's go back and let's do something. Money online. Let's try that. I'll just hit the enter key this time. Moneyonline.biz.tv. Okay, so you get the idea. Like if you were to, let's do something a little bit easier. Let's say that your niche was playing guitar. Play guitar. That's the other product that we were checking out. Okay, play guitar got biz. Playguitars.com. I play. Play guitar. Um, for our purposes, like I told you before, the suffix is not really that critical. Um, obviously, .com is the best that you can get. .net is okay, definitely. I would stay away from the .biz. Uh, people, I think, tend to think that those are a little flaky, and that's why pretty much most of the time those are always available. Uh, .tv, it's only good if it's going to be you know, something that is video related, really, uh, where at least maybe it's training videos or, you know, something like that. But uh, so dot com, dot net, dot org even is OK. Dot info, that's I, I personally don't use those, but. OK, so you get the idea. All right, let's go back here. Next up is Dotster and at Dotster, you're going to get. Not only available domains, but also ones that you can buy. So you can find out a domain that's not been registered. And you can go ahead and register it. And you can find ones that uh, are registered, but they're for sale. So four great resources for you to be able to find out uh, you know, what domain you can get and go ahead and register it, grab it, be done with it. And that is our action step. Register your domain. Now, the purpose of these action steps here. The way that I'm outlining all of this is so that I can tell you what to go do right now. Remember, though, first time through, you want to watch all these videos because you want to kind of get a bird's eye view, understanding of what's going on. Second time through, actually do the action steps because that's how you're going to get you know, your website up and start promoting as quickly as possible as if you actually do it. So sit down and think about it. What kind of story are you going to use to relate? You've already got your product picked out, right, that you're going to promote. Think about what kind of story you're going to be relating to them. You don't got to get the details right now because we're going to talk about the story later on. But think about that story. Think of the domain, the landing page, the ads, everything just as a complete package. And I will tell you this. Don't get a hosting company yet. Okay, even if you go to one of these sites or your favorite registrar, you can go to you know GoDaddy if you want. I don't care. If you haven't ever done this, though, I recommend you go to one of these four places, get your domain name, wait on the hosting account, because in the next video when we talk about hosting, I'm going to recommend a company to you that is kind of geared towards the whole Internet marketing scene. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video.